Hello again YouTube, it's been a while. This is Christopher Wasani, also known as Dr. Sola. Today we are going to do a video on battery temperature sensors. Your sophisticated inverters and your sophisticated charge controllers come with a battery temperature sensor. And what they do is they take the temperature of your battery of your battery bank and they adjust the charge current coming into your battery. So if, if the battery is too warm, they reduce the charge current to prevent the batteries from overheating. And if batteries are cool enough, then they can send maximum current. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how this works. So this is our battery temperature sensor. We have it in between the battery banks and it monitors what's going on. Uh, this is our desulfator. It's showing 26.13. Our charge controller is showing 26.2 and our float voltage is 26.7 it's not very sunny outside but let's try this experiment and we'll see what we get so here is our sensor we're going to stick it inside the freezer so it's inside the freezer the freezer is on and we're going to close it and we're going to wait and watch and see what happens so right now we're at 26.11 it just went, went up to 26.24 26.31 26.39 our float voltage for this system is 26.7 so you see it's rising towards float 26.4 26.5 26.6 26 and I guess 26.5 is about as good as it gets 26.59 this is only 26.6 as you see 26.64 26.6566 26.7 which is what our float voltage is so you notice as it gets warmer during the day your battery temperature sensor reduces the current that goes into your batteries to avoid damaging it and from avoid overheating it so we're now 26.79 so we're about where we should be in float 26 this is a little ambitious the controller is showing us at 27 volts oh wow okay our float is 26.7 i hope it's still in float yep it's in float as you can see float started and our temperature our voltage now is 27 even and that went from 26 point something down to 22 26.3 to 27 as you can see so this does its job uh, the freezer is a very cold environment, so it's going to assume that it's reading uh, the voltage from the batteries and it's going to, I mean, read the temperature from the batteries and it's going to increase the current to bring uh, the batteries up to acceptable voltage. So I've removed it from the freezer, as you see, I've taken it out from the freezer and I'm going to put it back where it belongs in between. And as we'll see in a second, is at 27.5 it's now beginning to drop so it takes about a minute for it to read and then it slowly starts to drop so 26.97 is where we are right now 26.94 26.92 so this will continue to drop so what I suggest is if you have um, some intelligence in your charge controller you could do what we call um, battery temperature sensor compensation you make adjustments to account for the fact you live in warm climates so that um, your float voltage will be maintained and it will discount a little bit of the outside temperature because what is reading actually is outside temperature which is pretty close to what the battery temperature is again this is Dr. Sola uh, bringing you up to date as to how best to get the most out of your solar power systems take care have a